What's going on guys? Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and on today's video we're going to dive into a bit of an Instagram random scramble and let's just see what we come up with. This one, I think this is going to be a fantastic option. So abusive relationships are not just limited to intimate partners, they can show up with friends and family. Beware of your space. So the reason why I jump into that particularly, if you don't know who I am, Brett Williams here from Life With Options. My focus and my work is a women's relationship coach helping women heal past relationship trauma. Now, the reason why I talk about that particular quote that I've got up there on my Instagram is the fact that it's so true and it's so overlooked that family and friends can also contribute to an abusive relationship. And I find with many of the women that I speak to or many of the men that I speak to as well is that it's so easy to separate your friends and family out of the equation. It's so easy to put yourself away from them and be like, oh, that's just them, that's just who they are because we're, we're not so emotionally attached. But then when it comes to the intimate relationships where all of a sudden the heart is open, you know, the feelings are all there, and the, um, the emotional bu abuse is something that is then so prevalent because it's, you know, you, you don't separate yourself from it. You are looking at, well, that's not who they are. Instead of like your friends and family, you put them in this space that goes, well, that's just who they are. They are somebody who is disrespectful, abusive, you know, always negative, putting you down, all of this sort of stuff, all of the things that equate to emotional abuse. But then when intimate partners are doing the exact same personal traits, you're like, oh, but that's not really them. You know, they didn't mean it that last time. They were drunk. They were this. You justify your intimate relationships to no end, whereas your friends and family don't tend to get away with it. Or at least when they do it, you may sort of like still keep friends and obviously your family and that side, but you'll separate yourself from them. Whereas your intimate relationships, you'll keep going back in, keep going back in. And one of the biggest traits that I see with this with women is the old nurture, fixer, rescuer, and that trait that comes in as part of the feminine energy, part of that feminine desire to really support, nourish, and uh, assist others, is that they can see that their man is, is not all of everything that he's showing up to be. Maybe he does have these traits part of him, but you can see that goodness in his soul, but that he cannot see himself. But there is no point in continuing going back in there and burning yourself on the fire if he is not willing to change. Because one of the things that I've always said is that if this has happened, if the emotional abuse, if the physical abuse, whatever it may be, has happened, then stop lying to yourself because it is part of who they are. Yes, they can change once they acknowledge it, once they understand it, once they can, they can see it and take ownership of it. I'm not saying that they can't change, but what I am saying is stop being naive to think that they are, that is not part of who they are. So, okay, well, that's all well and good, Brett, but you know, let's give me some you know, tools and some tangibility out of this as well. What it's coming back to is just being aware, as the quote said, you know, your friends and family and... Uh, just as likely to, to create emotionally abusive relationships as your intimate partners are. So be real with yourself, be honest with yourself, and sometimes you're not gonna like that answer. If you're in that abusive relationship, find the strength, find the, the logical mind that says, this is not healthy and I deserve more. And if you find yourself in the emotional space where you're constantly justifying why they're not, not that person or why they didn't mean it that time or why this, this, and this, then be real with yourself, have that conversation and be really, really aware of the space that you're in and how is that really impacting you? And also, how is that serving you? Now, one of the things that I talk about is serving your true self or your story. Your story is the limitations and the unconscious beliefs that you've developed from childhood, their strategies and beliefs that got your attention, love and a number of other things when you were younger, they served you then but they don't serve you now. So how is being in the relationship dynamics, be it the, the friends, family, intimate relationships, how is that serving you? Now, one thing I've got to touch on before I wrap this video up, when it comes to family, yeah, I get it, they're family. And we justify our family so much, but that does not mean that you cannot limit the time that you spend with your family. 
because how detrimental is it being around family members that are constantly putting you down, constantly dragging you back to old belief patterns, old ways of being and everything like that where you're trying to strive to create more in your life. It is not going to serve you in the long run. And at the same time, no matter where it is, friends, family, intimate relationships, you also have to understand that everybody is on their own journey in this life and everybody is at different points of their journey. And if that means that you've got to love them from afar and wish them well and hope that they find what it is that they're deeply searching for, then that is your journey to let them go on their journey. It is not your journey to heal them or try and pull the pain or anything like that because that is for them to learn. That is their lesson in this lifetime. So if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love, and I'll see you in the next video.